The capital and largest city in the Andalusia region of Spain, Seville features a rich and diverse history that draws tourists from around the world each year. With so much on offer, many people struggle to decide which of the amazing locations on offer best suit their needs. To help you with deciding which of the city's neighborhoods is best for you to spend your vacation, I have personally selected the best districts with the most to offer visitors and provided a summary of each area's attractions and benefits to help you match them to your perfect location. I'll start with the old city. The old city has most of Seville's popular attractions and the best shopping area. Shop by day, but the many tapas and cocktail bars found here are another reason to make your base in the centre of Seville. We begin in Santa Cruz, in the Casco Antiguo district. This district is the old Jewish quarter of Seville, and its name literally translates to ancient shell. Santa Cruz in particular is notorious for its abundance of historic sites, which is part of the reason it has developed into one of the most popular tourist destinations in the city. Our second destination is another in the Casco Antiguo district, the neighborhood of El Arenal, located directly to the west of Santa Cruz. Located on the bank of the Guadalquivir River, it takes its name from the sandy shores which were once found here, as Arenal refers to dust clouds that would have formed when gusts of wind blew up a river. We move now to the district located to the southeast of Casco Antiguo, Distrito Sur. While history is still one of the main draws to the area, it is a much more recent history than the ancient offerings we have previously looked at. Our next stop takes us to a district on a peninsula in the Guadalquivir River, just across from Casco Antiguo, to a place called Triana. Founded as a Roman colony by the Emperor Trajan, who was born nearby, there's some dispute over the origin of the name, with some claiming it to be derived from his own name, while others have translated it to mean three rivers or those beyond the river, we move now to the district located directly north of Casco Antiguo, to a place with a name many people will be familiar with, Macarena. Located right on the boundary of the ancient city limits of Almohad, a larger portion of those ancient walls than can be found anywhere else in the city still run through the district to this day. Our next destination of Nervian borders Casco Antiguo to the east and is primarily seen as a business district. While you may not initially see that as the ideal sort of place to stay on a vacation, there are a number of specific attractions in the area that may actually make it ideal, depending on your requirements and why you are visiting the city in the first place. Our next destination, Las Remedios, is located on the southern end of the Isla de la Cartuja, the island that also contains Triana. It takes its name from a Carmelite convent of the same name, which was one of the few buildings remaining in the district when development began in the 20th century. Our next destination lies directly opposite our previous one, on the other side of the Guadalquivir River, and is the most southern district in the entire city. Much like our previous stop, we have reached a point in our journey where the locations I am showing you have specific reasons for visiting in mind when suggesting them, so will only be right for those seeking something particular. For a penultimate destination, we move from the very south of the city to its most northern point, and the area of Distrito Norte. Unlike the rest of our destinations, this is a place that relies on its rural location to offer experiences not commonly found elsewhere in the city. Our final destination is the most eastern district in the city, East Alcosa Torre Blanca. While much of the district is similar in ways to a previous one, being a much more rural location, it is another that comes with one main selling point. La Alameda de Hercules, to give it its full name, is an area of fountains and vegetation, a district open to the public. It is found in the northern part of Casco Antiguo and is the oldest park in Europe. If you decide to stay in this neighborhood, it is easy to forget that you are in a city at all. Formerly an island in the river, La Cartuja was joined to its west bank by a bridge to expand the site to be used for Expo 92. It is named after the 15th century Monasterio de la Cartuja de Santa Maria de los Cuevas, now a base for Andalusian art shows. Santa Justa is Seville's main business district and the place you will find the city's railway station for incoming and ongoing journeys. Expo 92 was the reason behind its opening, and it remains one of the busiest in Spain. Seville is a fabulous destination, where rich history and culture awaits you at every turn. While the diverse range on offer can make picking the best places to stay in Seville for your own needs a challenge, hopefully this article will have made things much clearer. Now, all that's left is for you to go and start getting things booked, so you can experience it for yourself.